Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Midweek War! I am Mad Mike, and we are here to talk some NXT, and my room looks really different for some reason. Um, the, I don't have this many posters. Why, why is there a Fuck That Owl shirt here? This looks vaguely familiar. Sorg, where am I? S Sorg? Are you there? You're in Mayhem Studios! I'm in Mayhem Studios! Wait, holy shit, there's someone next to me on the couch! Sorg, is he real? Yes, Sorg, he is, Sorg. and his title's right there. Mutilator Larry. Hi, Larry! Hi! <laughs> this is what he looks like in the meat space. Yes, I, I can... You're all three-dimensional and shit? I didn't expect that. Am I? I hold on. Poke. Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we're here to talk NXT. Yeah. Um. So Larry, I, I have a question because you do you watch NXT normally? Uh, not not episode to episode. Okay. No, I usually watch it leading up to a takeover, or uh, if there's something big advertised for a main event. Okay. All right. Um, so this the triple th uh, threat elimination match intrigued me, so I. To, I Turned it on this week. Excellent. All right. Um, well, with that being said, what was your word for two, for NXT this week? Um, table. Yes, that's a good word. Uh, Sorg, what was your word for NXT this week? MMA. Ooh, yes. Technically, I don't think that's a word, but okay. Ma. <laughs> that is well much, played. That is much better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, my my word for this week is progression. 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 All right. I, I like using that word sometimes when okay. when there when there are cool things happening on the show. All right. Uh. So Sorg, what was your good this week? Uh, my good for this week is uh. Well, the MMA. Uh, the, they they showed a promo for. I'm trying to remember her name. It's not in the results. Uh, it's um, Sonia Deville. Sonia Deville, thank you. The uh, former Daria Baronado from Tough Enough. Okay, okay, and, and she had popped up before in like a six man tag back in the day. Yeah, and she but... she was she was on as Dar as Daria before too. Okay, and yeah. so so good to see that she's coming back around, and she looks like she's ready to kick people in the face. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to it. They turned her into Ronda Rousey, basically. Well, yeah, and yeah. I don't know if she has. <laughs> that's where MMA. she. That's where background? she was going. And no, I she, think does. she does. She does. Yeah, yeah that, okay. that's one thing. But they it looked emphasized. it looked convincing. Yeah, that's one thing they emphasized while she was on Tough Enough is that she had okay. legit MMA credentials. So. Yeah, so yeah. they're just rolling with that, which I think I think works. Yeah, I, I think like when's the last time we've had an utter badass chick other than Oscar? Right? Other than Oscar, and not and not like that MMA way, right? Yeah. So I mean, somebody somebody could I mean, come in. Ember and Moon be... was close, but they yeah. Kind of, like, it, that it's also what they try to make Nia Jax. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. She, but then they they bumped her up. Before I mean, she she's not like most girls. I'm no, not sure if no, you guys have isn't. heard that. No, she isn't. She's not like most girls. I don't know the rest of her song. Otherwise, I'd sing it. No, me neither. Yeah. All right. So, Larry, what was your good for NXT this week? Um, my good for NXT this week was heavy machinery. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Take some weights, baby. Yep. Take some weights. <laughs> Scaring away. Uh, Authors of pain. I'm. I, I cannot wait for that match. Was that oh, that match though? Was that they, that he just like took tore apart a tag team by himself? Uh -huh. While the other the guys other guys are on the outside writing stuff down. Yeah, it was amazing. They I were, like, know they were doing crossword down. or uh, uh, tic -tac Sudoku. <laughs> Sudoku. <laughs> Sudoku. You think they do Sudoku? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, oh, I mean, you know, is there a Sudoku in the Wall Street Journal? Is uh, is that what? Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I could just, uh, I could just picture paul ellering narrating sudoku here's a like, question he's just like helping. well i'm looking in this box of nine and i see that there are numbers b so the first one i will put down is the number of three <laughs> that that's my bad paul ellering impression yeah. Yeah. slash dr seuss yeah um that's what they're I, really how reading. do you know what dr seuss sounds like i <laughs> In my head, like Paul Paul, Paul Ellering, audio book. Um, yes, the audio book. Uh, He's on Paul audio Ellering book. Uh, reads Fox in Socks. Uh, so, no, so, 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 <laughs> oh my god, I would pay for that audio book. <laughs> I would pay for that audio. Book. Absolutely, absolutely. Paul Ellering um, reads Green Eggs and Ham. <laughs> One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. 
<laughs> and and as a companion piece, as a companion piece, Vince Russo reads How the Grinch Stole Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then bro, and then bro, his 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 heart grew like like three <laughs> sizes, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and what, he put everything on a pole. <laughs> Christmas on no, a Isn't there much. a part in there about a pole? I know. <laughs> That's why he loves it. He loves that. He loves that. Vince book Rusev story. loves the pole. <laughs> God. Oh, man. What were we saying before, Sorry, I have no idea. We were talking about, about the uh, authors, about authors of pain. pain. Yeah. The spelling bee that they're entering. And the spelling bee. <laughs> oh, no. I had, a que- <laughs> I had a question about Paul Allen. Because, you know, notoriously he comes out with a rolled up uh, Wall Street Journal and he legit reads the Wall Street Journal or in one video when everybody's cooked out of the mind of the Great American Bash, um, he's wa- he's reading an Alaska magazine because he's traveling there the one time. Uh, so <laughs> so my question is, why is Paul Ellering not upgraded to a Kindle? Um, because it doesn't look as badass. Yeah, that's true. Technology is you hard. hit him in the head with a Kindle? I mean... And plus, sorry, oh. have you ever tried to read anything on a tablet under those hot lights? Yeah, that's true. No, you need you need like the paper white to do that, and and those are they just don't look as cool. And the Wall Street Journal doesn't require a battery. That's a fair point. Although one day I would just like for him, like when they do the the WWE Kids Show, he comes out with a highlights magazine. <gasps> That'd be great. I have. A whole and he's stack like of those Goofus and Gallant. You are the worst tag team ever. I have a whole stack of those at work. Excellent. Highlights magazines. Yeah. Like for inspiration, or are you planning like, to do an no, escape for, room that looks the, like a doctor's we're office? We're doing a 1980s escape room, and uh, we have a magazine stand. Nah. So we have, that you know, I have a stack. Of, we have a stack of uh, highlights mag- we're, or, uh, we're, we're magazines. We're we're so many tangents on this show. Oh <laughs> my god! I, I, <laughs> Not as many as Tuesday yet. Nope. Nope. nope, 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 nope. <laughs> oh, just wait. <laughs> we, we're we've only, we've only got started. we've only gotten technically through one ninth of this show, seg- show's segments. <laughs> What was your whatever the question is? My good <laughs> is um, the main event because hot damn, those ladies can fight. And mm-hmm. I I was hoping they were going to finish the match. I was hoping yeah. so too, but when I saw how they didn't, totally cool with it. I, I stood up and I said, see, Raw, that's how you do a fucking no contest that's for your true. main event. That's true. That's how you fucking do it. That's how you debate. And again, I'm not seeing the Raw end and then seeing that they threw it out. Like, I was I was checked out when they were like, we threw this out. I'm like, really? In an elimination match, you're doing this? You know? I thought Regal was going to come out and turn it into a no DQ street fight. Yeah, yeah. Well, well I think that's just uh, coming down the road. Yeah, Because so, yeah, we definitely. still have, like, over a month to kill before TakeOver. That's and I the, still that's the Brooklyn one. Yeah, I okay. still don't think Oscar's going in to take over as champ. As champ, no. really? I still don't think so. I I, I don't think the street fights going to even be at takeover. No, no, I, I don't think I, it will. I be. think I think she's going to drop the title to Nikki Cross. Mm-hmm. Um, because because then like, you can have um, Oscar go on her sword. Fight. Yeah. Because then you can have Oscar go on her sword <laughs> at Brooklyn. Like. Like she can go out in the rematch or to Ember Moon or whoever you want, and then she just pops up on SmackDown and kicks Lana in the face once mm. and gets the women's championship. There Ember, you go. Ember Moon's cleared now too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's wrestling uh, Peyton Royce next week. Yeah. Which I I love Peyton and Billy. I'm sorry. Is it? I had a thought about when I'm watching them because they, they were doing that 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 flashback to yeah. you know her her being cleared, and I'm like, those are. Those are the popular girls from school. Mm-hmm. They're lay cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're yeah, lay cool. Yeah. They're the beautiful people. Yeah. They're even the early BFFs like with Sasha and Summer Rae. Like NXT does this a lot. Mm-hmm. Like they get two women who separately would get lost in the shuffle, but together, you know, form a pretty decent. Well, even did the Charlotte, uh, Sasha, Charlotte, Sasha, Summer. And Summer Rae. Yeah, they, yeah, they the were BFFs. That. Yeah, the BFFs were like that. The best fighting friends, I believe. <laughs> I, b- I believe that was the actual. I want to go back and watch that stuff because I I remember I just did not care about them when that was happening. And that then... is your fault because they had Summer Rae's head on a stick, Sorg. No, oh, they did because she was doing do- uh, like because like, she was like Raw, Raw stuff. She was and... on Raw and they carried around Summer. Yeah. They had a picture of Summer Rae's head on a popsicle stick and they carried her down to the ring with them. So, so she was still part of the team. Yeah, yeah. I think they even lodged it like in the turnbuckle so she could see the match. God. It was, it's really like, uh, it was a different was time. It? Al, Al Snow's uh, head. It was head, yeah. Head. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, basically. Just like a two-dimensional Ma- version Moppy. of it. Uh, <laughs> Elio Del Moppy. 
We I never knew you. <laughs> he's he's going to be on season four of Lucha. Probably. It'd be amazing. We, we give them a lot of ideas. Uh, Sorg, what will be your bad this week for NXT? Uh, initially that no contest, I guess. Okay. Um, and now I, I might be a little, you know, granted I was doing some stuff while I was trying to fit in NXT. So I, maybe I did not invest entirely in it. Um, but there, it, yeah, not, not a lot really picked me up on that. Um, and, and I kind of got lost on the no contest on the, on the elimination match. Like I was expecting like, let's do this. Right. Um, and yeah, they went some interesting ways, but, um, and, and that's why it will, you know, I, I kind of position where I'm at because we had good matches with finishes and, and everything on, on 205. And this was like, you know, just a, yeah, we're getting there, you know, and, and nothing really went a lot of good moments, not a good hole in comparison to 205 Live. Have, uh, yeah. has anybody done the research to see if, well, no, I guess NXT is pre recorded, right? Yeah. 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 I was going to say, do you think they just try and like one up Raw's ending every week? Well, but yeah, I they, think, they're they're pre recorded. I think so, everybody's uh, trying to one up everything every week. Well, I mean, so. like they had a no contest. Let's have a better no contest. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. no. I don't they, think I don't think that's happening. They, okay, I think. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure Triple H knows stuff that's happening and maybe <coughs> does that subconsciously because I'm sure that they book kind of against each other. Like, even though it's weeks out, like he knows what's coming down the pipe. Yeah, yeah. I would not be surprised if he does stuff like that on purpose because god forbid when vince ever goes triple h is going to take over most likely and that's and hey, how much of wwe it looks like triple h's vision at, as it is you know right i mean oh my god with with road dog on. oh we're losing you again just kind of tighten that that uh end there and you should come back hold on go ahead with uh nope 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 i don't know what's going on with this little, no just yeah oh it. there it is there it, it is it was on the okay. end there you go okay uh, yeah, but with Road Dog running SmackDown and Triple H eventually running, like DX is actually going to be running WWE. <laughs> the Click actually is running. And WWE. Shawn Michaels is in the performance center. Exactly, yeah, Shawn's right. probably that's going right. to be taking over for Triple H for NXT. Wow! And then you're just going to get everyone doing kip ups all the time. <laughs> it's just super kicks and kip ups. And, and there's gonna... going to at one jobber every week is going to be named Stand. Stan, oh. so someone can get super kicked. Who was Stan? Ty Dillinger. Ty Dillinger, that's right. <laughs> that we, we we discovered that. <laughs> the perfect ago. ten. I just kicked Stan. Yep. <laughs> perfect. Perfect kick to the face. Yes. Um. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, Larry, what was your what was your bad this week? Um, my bad this week was. Um. Oh God, who opened the show? Oh, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre. They're yeah. just not doing anything with them. I thought it was going to be Demo. Oh, oh to be honest, I fast forward. <laughs> I did skip it. You know, <laughs> you got to watch. I, no, there's like, that, I'm like, there uh, is one rule for this I'm show sorry. is that you watch the show. I, like, not for the raw wrap up. You know, sometimes I'm, I'm going to work. No, I'm kidding. I'm no, but just, uh, yeah, I don't blame you. For, for me, it was Drew McIntyre. Yeah, no, like, years of watching Impact, I don't blame you for fast forwarding through a Drew McIntyre match. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like what what are you doing with him? You know, so I mean, they're they're still they're still kind of setting him up. There's a lot of guys with what are you doing with me? Yeah, there's it, a lot yeah, of every guys show. Like that. Yeah, yeah, in every show, absolutely. It's like they like had a huge layoff on the crea- creative department, and one guy's over there like, ah. well, I, it almost seems like NXT still hasn't recovered from the superstar shakeup. It still seems like they haven't fully re- like the women's division is fine. Now, because there's a few more established characters, Ruby Riot helped tremendously. But T- tag team's fine. Like, yeah, but after off, there's a pain in heavy machinery. Name another tag team. Well, oh, we got rid of DIY. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> yeah, there's no. Well, other who's tag the, team. What's that? Uh, Santino or not Santino? Uh, oh, Tino Sabatelli and yeah, Rick Moss. Those guys. Yeah, they had one tag match. I don't even know it's if they're coming back. Kind of funny. Like unless Dylan Miley or um, Drog Russian name, whatever they gave him last week, unless he finds a a big tag team partner, I don't know what they're doing with the rest of the tag team. But uh, my bad this week is why are we doing Alistair Black versus Cash Sono? Yeah, that's me again. Yeah, why why are we doing Alistair Black versus Cash Sono next week? Oh, are we? They announced it, yeah. I'm, I'm okay I'm with that. I'm looking forward to that because I, we the, haven't the seen The match it. is going to be good. 
Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but well, you're is, gonna, it, is it face versus you're, face? You're is gonna that, you're gonna have Hideo shenanigans, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I know. And is but, Alistair Black a face? No, we don't uh, know. Not not. I don't think for this match. So he's a face to me. That that's okay. He's just like a badass, and he'll beat up anybody. My problem with him is I don't think he's going to translate well to Raw or SmackDown. Oh God, no! Because he's not even his entire well to NXT. Hit, well, I'm okay with him on like the way he is on he's, NXT because he's unstoppable right now. That's how they're booking him. Like, yeah, he's just beating everybody up. When so, he actually has to lose a match, I don't know what they're going to do with now. That now I want to roll back because you know there was somebody else that was in a same position about a year or two ago. Actually, the, a lot above two years ago. The Drifter named Baron Corbin. Yeah. And yeah, but Baron Baron's character like got pissed off and angry. This mm-hmm. guy just sits and yeah. meditates. And Baron you know what I mean? and Baron by this point had a feud. Okay, he like, had he had an actual st- no with um um Bull, Bull, Dempsey. Fit, Bull Dempsey. Yeah, yeah, he had a feud at that point. It wasn't a great feud, no. but there was something that they were building towards. Like yeah, like Alistair Black's like a Buddha, like a monk, just like. You know, like he's always calm and compo- composed, and he can like catch the fly instantly and like block a kick, whatever. He's Chuck Norris. <laughs> he, he's an EFED character. But Alistair Black is just an EFED character. But I mean, I mean <laughs> once once he has to be in like a serious rivalry where he's not coming out on top, I don't know how him being frustrated is going to resonate. Because right now he's mysterious, and that's working for now, but it's going to wear off. For me, yeah. it's working because I, I granted, I don't watch the show every every week, yeah. so it's not that stale to me. With seeing, yeah, because like literally, but, he hasn't done anything different since his debut. No, it's been exactly the same thing and every I, time. And I think out. he's still in that early, like getting to know this character squash matchy thing. Personally, maybe, yeah. I mean, I we, he had a match with somebody. Who did he have a match with? He, oh, he had a match with Kurt Hawkins. Yeah, yeah. He, he kicked his head off. Was the it was the big thing that happened yeah. um, from and the main they, event oh man they built up weird. kurt hawkins man <laughs> i was so confused <laughs> I, I forgot, like, I kurt forgot. hawkins was like the hottest thing yeah. to come out of kurt, kurt hawkins like the perfect wwe three. live shows and i don't know how. <laughs> kurt the perfect three kurt hawkins as in <laughs> two and you, a half as maybe. in he here one <laughs> two, two <laughs> three all the time that's funny <laughs> He's he's the minor of the major brothers. You we'll tell that <laughs> uh, yep. Oh, can we instead of saying Sean and Marty, can we say the major and minor brothers? And one's a major, one's a minor, because Zach Ryder is definitely the major out of those two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Or or, or the lesser hedge edge head. I was thinking, but uh, Gosh, but major, well, like major way. but because they were the major brothers, right? Yeah. Like yeah. I don't even remember what their individual names were. I don't know because it wasn't Zach and Kurt. <laughs> no, I don't think it was. God, the major brothers. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh-huh. That was an ECW thing. Yeah, it was. Wow. Yeah. Hey. So it was Kofi Kingston back in the day. Remember that? Yeah. Kofi debuted on ECW. SOS. Oh, is he on the show? Yeah, on the uh on the, the, the WWE the w- sci fi. That was one. right around the time I stopped watching. I saw la- I saw the, right. the one night stand, but I didn't. It's, okay. it's, it's, so you saw ECW zombie and you're like I'm so out. The, yeah, well, no, no. You saw it was the, just good timing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, <laughs> that was. Because that didn't go well. Uh yeah. There was one. That, this is a huge tangent. There's one thing on there that you should find on the network if it's on there. It was a hardcore match between ECW champion The Big Show and Ric Flair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, dude, yeah. It was fucking good. Was this before PG? It had yeah. to have been. Yeah. Yeah. Rick there was, oh, yeah. This was the place where they were just still not doing P- PG. And there yeah. isn't. Like, Did they just have an, like an IV bag full of like oh, A positive pr- fucked up to Rick? Practically, yes. The was, that's the one where. There was, that's where that's where uh, Bob Holly going through the table and slicing his back open happened. Yep. Oh, yeah. my God. He has, mm-hmm. still has a giant scar on that. Yeah. Uh, if you check that kind of early, like, big show as champion ECW. There's some there's great some really good stuff on there. Stuff on there. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh Big Show Still probably my favorite version of Big Show. Was that Big Nasty yeah. Big Show? Yeah, no. It was like Big Show was like it was probably the biggest he ever was 
and he just looked like he hasn't slept in like weeks and he was just angry and doing he was uh doing the sleeper hold where he whips him around yeah the colossal oh, yeah. clutch yeah, yeah. It, and it, it was it basically just, a covert clutch but because it was big show he just swings him around oh, like yeah around. And, it just, their and it just it looks nasty yeah. yeah it looks like he definitely should have so yeah it looks absolutely vicious. and this fits because this was the precursor to nxt Yep. And Ty right. Dillinger was also had a run. And on it that. was the precursor to Game Show NXT. Which, oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Which, which gave us a lot of good people. But I was meaning in concept because a lot of the new faces popped up on there, the That's new breed true. kind of stuff. And, you know, it, it was kind of their, their tryout, sh- not tryout show, but, you know, see if these guys can work show, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, there's that. Uh, where, where did we leave off? I forgot. Do you think Bobby Roode's time is up in NXT after TakeOver uh, like you think it is with Asuka from Brandon? Dude, oh, his time was up after the second Nakamura match. No. I, he should have got moved up. I He's, honestly think NXT needs Bobby Roode right now. Yeah, I think they I, do, I, I but think Bobby Roode doesn't need, need NXT. No, no, no. Well, no, no. no. Bobby Roode never needed NXT. Let's, no, let's get that no. out of the way right now. Bobby Roode is a greater Randy Orton. Like, yeah. yeah. Bobby Roode is, yeah. and I've You're always right. said this, even back in, in his TNA days, Bobby Roode is the is the version that Randy Orton thinks he is. <laughs> that would be a good match. Like I want to, I just want to, and as much as we love Glorious, if we gave Bobby Roode the old "Burn in My Light" theme, it would work just as well. <laughs> yeah. Like like yeah. like Bobby Roode coming out, hey, nothing you can say, and just same entrance, same little dolly that he spins around on, it would still work. Absolutely. We yeah. could have that have him and Randy Orton instead of doing an icon versus icon do an ego versus ego match. Mm-hmm. I I would love that. that would I would I would love match. to see that match. That'd be the best thing since uh uh Shawn Michaels versus Rick the Model Martel. Hey. Don't hit each other in the face, Sork. You can't hit each other in the face. Oh, that's right. That was the that rule was the, for that match. That was the rule. That no, was the no face shots. Yeah, because Sherry didn't want either of them hurting each other's faces, so they weren't allowed to. It was a great match. It was. It was a great it was. It match. Was, it was fun. That was fun. Rick, who, why isn't anyone doing the model gimmick again? Like, I know Breeze was doing it for a little bit. But I don't know. Arrogance popped up in that one match in Lucha in Season 3. That's fucking That's true. the only place you can do that, that and it doesn't seem true. stupid. That is true. That's <laughs> absolutely true. Anyways. Right. Wow. Uh, Tangents. Yes. Uh, so my bad. Sue's Missy walked away. You're bad? <laughs> yeah. My, <laughs> Sue's Missy walked away. We got on a tangent. Um, <laughs> Good. She's gone. <laughs> Good. We can talk about stuff now. <laughs> She's not producing this show. It's we fine. can talk about stuff it's now. <laughs> fine. Uh, my bad this week. Oh no, I said my bad. My bad was the Alistair Black versus Cash yeah. Sona. Yeah, you gotta do the All next. Right. Time. Yeah, my bad. I. All right, so that was my bad. I forgot. Uh, Larry, what would you change about NXT this week if you could? Um, I would have liked to see Heavy Machinery and Authors of Pain get physical. I mean, mm-hmm. that's my only. I don't know. Okay. All right. Sorg, how about you? I would like... Hmm. 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 um, um, Something more interesting for Drew Galloway to do. (laughs) Drew Galloway. Or McIntyre. Whatever the hell is. (laughs) I had that problem, too. That's why I couldn't remember his name, because I kept wanting to say Drew Galloway. Until they give you a reason to call him McIntyre, you can call him Galloway. Yeah, that's true. He's doing the same thing. That's true. I mean, I like that he's angry, Drew, and and everything. But he's not... I don't think he's done enough to... Like, he, he hasn't done enough to remind you why he got rehired. He's not even angry, Drew. He's just like... He's just uh, he's, he's just serious, Drew. Until somebody pisses him off, he's but slightly he's, miffed. No, Drew. he's he's not. No, trust no. me, I've seen angry Drew. He he's not angry, Drew. Angry Drew sounds like this. We haven't gotten here yet, Sorg. That's that's a dead on accurate representation of Drew McIntyre when he's angry. Also, also my my <laughs> if I can, that could roll that into my change. Um, I feel like NXT has so many people. From from the English Isles that 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 I feel like I'm watching the UK tournament mm-hmm. at this point because I'm realizing like you know between Drew and Becky Lynch and there was a couple other people Sanity is it, if San- yep. where were they at? Of Sanity well they were just, well, they just did mean, a thing last week and so. plus they, Nikki, okay. Nikki Cross is still part of Sanity I know so but she's but representing she, you spread them out a little bit yeah, yeah. um my my change this week we need to stop having undefeated people on NXT. How many are there? 
Oh, let's let's do a list. This is gonna be fun. Authors of Pain and Oscar, right? Authors of Pain. That's two. Oscar, Alistair Black, Drew oh. McIntyre. Um, oh, I know there's more. I know there's more people there. Or can we throw all those people in a match? That was big. That was. I mean, that's that's, a lot, that's five. That's a lot. That, and Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode is undefeated. Really? Bobby Roode is undefeated. He's never wow. lost. Wow. He didn't lose before he had his title run. Nope. nope. Bobby Roode's undefeated. I mean, he may have lost by count out on at one random thing that I don't remember. But um, tag match with Austin Aries. Maybe. <laughs> but I mean. Bobby Roode's never lost a singles match, at least to my recollection. Huh. But yeah, like there are way too many undefeated people. Velveteen Dream. Velveteen Dream is undefeated too. There's another one. There's God, I forgot about that yeah. match. There, I mean, that's seven people. Who did he right face? There. Some jobber Some jo- guy. Yeah, but I mean, that's seven people right there, and they don't have that big of a roster. Yeah. yeah. Like their roster is, you know, sizable, but that's at least a third of their roster, I think. And uh, oh no, Cash Sono isn't undefeated, so. But there's just a lot of people on there that are undefeated, and I, hmm. it hinders the creativity of the show. I think, like, it wouldn't hurt Authors of Pain if they got like, like maybe not now because now there's no one really to challenge them except Heavy Machinery. But have one of them in a singles match against they just did. against one, <laughs> but like an, an advertised singles match against yeah. one of the guys from Heavy Machinery. And have them lose. And like, oh, wait, maybe this is something yeah. we... Because like, for Asuka's matches, I almost never feel like she's in danger. Because she because they're pushing... The, like, if she goes past TakeOver, she'll have a longer title reign than CM Punk. Wow. That, that should not be happening. 400 90, days is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, like she's already beaten Goldberg. You saw that, right? Yeah, she's the longest undefeated champion streak since no, Goldberg. Yeah, yeah. Well, That's, I don't even think it was a champion streak. I think it was just well, the fact general. that Goldberg was undefeated and champion too. Oh, okay. So, like, yeah. Gold, like actually, they Oscar basically is Goldberg with with better looking hair. Yeah, I'm not gonna dwell too much on that. No. <laughs> Her getting dunked in the cooler was freaking hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, oh my god, oh my god. That's Asuka's weakness. Water. Water. Water, because when the only time Peyton Royce and Billy Kay attacked Asuka, they threw water on her. For- Is Asuka a fucking gremlin? Witch. <laughs> She's a witch. Burn her! <laughs> She's a witch. Well, I was thinking from Wizard of Oz. I know, the, but... The witch melts. Okay, okay that, that works, too. That works, too. I wasn't thinking drown her. <laughs> <laughs> So well, wait, this got weird. Wait, hold on. If Asuka's the Wicked Witch of the West, oh. Wicked Witch of the Far East, is that <laughs> who is Dorothy? Is it Ember Moon? Does anyone have? Re- <gasps> oh my God! Ruby slippers, Ruby riot. Coincidence? Nikki crosses Toto. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And Oscar wanted a triple She's threat match. Oscar wanted a triple. Oscar wanted a triple threat match. <coughs> I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog too. <laughs> she snarls and bites the ropes when she comes into the ring. And and did you see the background image for Smack uh, and, for and you know uh, what? Money in the Bank? I just realized this. If you watch that triple threat match tonight and play Pink Floyd's The Wall, it totally syncs up. <laughs> Totally syncs up. It does everything about the match from the cooler. To <laughs> to th- there we go. There we go. Money in the Bank match has the Emerald City mm-hmm. with the rainbow yep. in the background. Yep. Yes, it does. And the Emerald City is actually green ladders. I did not notice that. Part. I think we are through the looking glass here. So wait, does that mean that Billy Kay and? Peyton Royce are the Scarecrow and the Cowardly Lion? No, they're just the Scarecrow. Neither of them have brains. Oh, that's that's mean. So? That's just mean. But not untrue. That's fine. All right. Um, Sorg, where, where did you... 
Where did you rank NXT? I don't this think week? you even gave me a change, but it's oh well, well yes, but you did. I don't remember. Your I don't change remember. was you wanted so, you Drew, wanted Drew, Drew McIntyre. Drew, oh, that's, Drew that's right. That's yeah, right. Drew Galloway. No, you Galloway. want give me Drew you Galloway. want Drew Galloway to do something. Give me three MB Drew. Uh, anyway, anything. Well, did you catch it? They said he still talks to gender. Really? Yeah, they said that. Like, oh, he's still tight with Jinder Mahal. I'm like, yeah, I bet he is. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, where did I rank it? Number two. I, I, I don't know. I just I just didn't fall into this. Probably maybe because of the way I was watching it t- this week. Okay. All right. Uh, Larry, how about you? What? Your ranking for NXT. Um, well, two. I was going to say you've seen no, two shows. No, three. I'll say three. What was the second show? Then? Lucha. I'll say that was three. Oh, okay. Or two. Uh, and Granny, he did okay. not watch this week's I'm on, week. se- I'm on season one still. Yes. Yeah, okay. In the right, early that's, season. That's so. fair. Still wrong, but fair. <laughs> um, I'm going to go Lucha. Uh, NXT was number two this week. We're not week talking politics. No, no, definitely not. Uh, NXT for me was uh, two this week. I just really liked the main event. Mm-hmm. I thought the main event was solid. Like... Um, they made me okay with a non-finish in elimination match. That's very difficult to do. And they did it the right way. I watched it and I'm like, Mike's going to hate this. <laughs> uh, and if, you know, if they ended at the no contest, I would have. I would have given it below Impact. And I haven't even watched Impact yet. But then they brought me back around. Like, And they even showed us the whole backstage of mm-hmm. Full Sail. Like, that's, I love that kind of stuff. Like, That's the kind of stuff that made Nitro innovative back in the day. Yep. So I, I was definitely okay with how it ended, especially the, the big high spot at the end. That was really great. All right, uh, so Sorg, where can the good people find you on the internet? Sorgatron on the Twitters, and check out everything at sorgatronmedia.com. All right, Larry, how about you? Yeah, I don't know. Twitter. Twitter? Okay. <laughs> I'm on Twitter. It, it's, it's right there. It's right. Oh, I'm at Mutilator yeah. Larry. There it is. There it is. On, it looks like I'm pointing to my leg, but... All right, and you can find me at MadMike4883 on the Twitter machine. Also, go to at Mayhem Show, hit up the hashtag MM for when I live tweet shows. Um, I did live tweet Lucha this week. I have not gotten to Impact yet because um, I'm taking a mental health holiday, and that means not watching Impact. So there will be a double Impact next week, which is my penance for taking a break. You might as well hit yourself with that kendo stick. I think I actually probably will. I have a kendo stick at home, so don't worry. I'll be, I'll, I'll be able to. Wait, you said this was Pittsburgh. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, we will catch you all next week where I don't know where the hell I'm going to be on the Mid Week War.